watching it. Hey guys, this is Bleeding United TV. <laughs> I'm here with Stephen, scratching my face for me. City 4, Bournemouth nil. that's worth a good scratch, isn't it, just Stephen? Can I add context? Paul told Alex not no, to scratch No, you can't. Face. Talk about the game. Yeah, the game was <laughs> almost as good as that beer scratch. That was absolutely immense. What has he done to this team? It's ridiculous. He's got possibly the best football I've ever seen at the Etihad. That second goal, I just didn't know where to look after it. I was like, what had, what had just happened? It was unbelievable. And... Um, yeah, it's just phenomenal and every game at the moment is just a joy and it gets better and better and better. I don't know what it is. I've never felt so so so, so excited, but it's also so so calm. Uh, it's weird not being worried and not having that concern and it's just good. Fingers like an idiot. I was actually nervous before the game. I keep thinking, right, okay, we won seven in a row. Surely at some point we've got to lose one, we've got to draw, but we just don't do that. We just, nah, we just win instead and it's fantastic. And as you said, as soon as we go one up, I don't question it anymore. I think this is just a matter of time now. It's a, a formality that we're going to score a few more goals and that we're going to just cruise to the win. And the best thing about it, everyone who slots into that team, be it a 19 year old centre midfielder who's never played in the Premier League for like Garcia or whatever, they all just look comfortable they all play the same kind of football they all look composed they all look intelligent and it's almost like Pep isn't a fraud and in fact he's actually a football genius who knows what he's doing I mean and I've been saying it for ages <laughs> that Pep Guardiola is really good at managing football teams it's I think he recently is, people are catching on I think he is good at doing the football you know I think he's good at football managing and I think he's got a career in this and I'm just glad he's uh, there in that stadium probably he still is there right now and if I could find him now I'd kiss that bald head because he's a wonderful man and I love him dearly I think I think we all would I think that's why they don't, they don't really let us near him to be honest that's the main reason um, do you think um, we've got Swansea Swansea away twice next week we look unbeatable Who, who's going to be the team to break the record what in terms so of to break, break our 100% record ah uh, it could be Swansea they've got two times here but I don't think it will be I think we'll um, I think I can see us winning I can see us winning both of those games and that'll be 10 victories in a row I mean, honestly, I thought Pep would do very well because I do rate him that highly, but I didn't think he'd do this well. I didn't think it was possible that a team that requires, he required so much kind of tweaking and so much kind of reinvention after how I kind of, I don't know, stagnant it was at times last year to be this in tune with it. They've all slotted into this system perfectly. Oh, it's just surprised me how quick, I think Pep himself said it's surprised him how quickly it's been done as well. And uh, credit to the players, I guess, credit to the management as well, credit to all of them for really kind of digging down and just reinventing themselves and no one more so than Alexander Kolarov. He plays at left back, it was nobody. Where's number 11? Now he's a centre back. It's just weird. And to see him and Sterling as well, Sterling kind of shoving it down the throat of all those people and giving so much criticism, it's just sweet. And I just love it at the moment. It just uh, it seems as well. Let's talk, I just want to talk about everyone coming out the ground. They're talking about um, De Bruyne, they're talking about Ian Acho, they're talking yeah. about Sterling. Um, we always talk about I mean, an unsung hero, Fernandinho, captain of the team today. And what a good job he did. Fernandinho is class, absolute top class. I mean, I think we all know that uh, in general, anyway, as City fans. But I'm just really glad now that maybe the world is kind of being turned towards and maybe it took someone like Guardiola's reputation to draw the spotlight on a play like Fernandinho and it was telling for me that when he came in he made a big point of saying how good Fernandinho is because I think he wanted the world to know in the way that we do and Fernandinho is just consistently 8 out of 10 is he if he's not the best like complete central midfield in the Premier League I don't know who he is I'm not going to call Andrew Bucknell and do the pocket in the pocket thing again because that was brilliant but um I think every, he's gonna he's gonna be weighed down with the amount of people he's got in his shorts at the moment it's ridiculous isn't it but yeah Fernandinho you know, love him, great player, and just probably will be in the team of the season this year. He's that good. Do you think uh, we'll talk about um, Garcia as well, given you that you're the youth football correspondent yeah. on Blooming Rise TV? Uh, good to see Garcia getting 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I, I do love the fact that already this season, so far this season, we've seen Angelino come on, we've seen Adam Rabio come in the Champions League, we've seen now Garcia make his Premier League debut, we've seen Mafeo start, we've seen uh, a, a complete integration of the youth players already. And you'd understandable if you hadn't played any of them so far, given we've only had eight games. But where's Yaya? Where's Delph? It shows how much he's willing to use the players that fit the system, uh, fit uh, the style that he wants. And Alex Garcia's involved today uh, it's testament to his performances last year his technique on the ball and it shows that Pep just doesn't doesn't care about egos reputations uh, Garcia deserves this he was phenomenal at times last year for the EDS and he's going to be a big part of City's future I'm almost certain you'll sit in that bus gets kind of almost pearl West roll at some point and he looked good as well when he came on but yeah yeah, <laughs> good. good. Alex is waiting for me to talk about the youth players more. No, it's just, normally, but I'm controlling myself for once. I love it. No, it's fine. It's just, <laughs> it's, 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 these these fan cams are so much fun because usually, how many times I've seen people come out miserable and gutted and upset, and everything just seems the sun is shining over Manchester and it's shining over Manchester City. So it's Blooming Rising TV. Let us know how good it feels. I brought it back with me in the Rome. comments below. I want to see the Pope at the weekend, and he was asking about Guardiola as well. Oh, right, I'm going to be honest. All the way through that, my face was itching so bad. So I'm going to have a good scratch, <laughs> and you're going to subscribe below. See you next time, Blue.